Hello, I'm Rodney Laney with ProjectorPeople.com and today we're going to have our sales folks review some of the products that we have uh, available to us today. The current products that we'll be showing are the Sanyo PLV Z700, the Z3000, the Panasonic AE3000, the Epson HC6500, the Epson HC6100, and finally a business unit that actually works quite well in the crossover market if you're in the need of high brightness 1080p and that would be the Optima TX1080. On the far left is the PLVZ700. The PLVZ700 is a low contrast, it's only 10,000 to 1, but it's the same brightness as the one to the right, which is the Sanyo PLV3000. The PLV3000 has a rating of 60 or 75,000 to 1 contrast, that we can find that easily on our website. And then as you progress to the right, the one in the middle begins the 1600 lumen high contrast ratio units. Again, you can notice the contrast difference by the color of the black section of the image, if you will. You'll notice it's a lot brighter on the far left than it is in the middle. And then the Epson, which is also a 1600 lumen unit, seems to produce the best blacks in the modes that they're currently set. One unit further to the right, you go back to a higher bright unit, which is the 6100. Contrast ratio, again, is reduced as a result of the brightness. And again, you can tell the black bars are more of a, a gray. And then finally, to the far right, when you look at the 3700 or 3600 lumen Optima piece, which again is designed for business, but as you can see, does a beautiful 1080p image, uh, you'll notice there is no evidence of a black bar. It's all just kind of a gray color because of the lack of contrast due to the brightness. The DLP is a single chip product and that particular unit uses a color wheel when it's single chip DLP and therefore you'll get what is described by some people as a rainbow effect and some people have a uh, capability of seeing this with the naked eye. The camera can always see it as you can tell probably by this video. The rest of the units that we're viewing today are three chip LCD or polysilicon. There are slight different hues in the flesh tones, which could probably be adjusted out, but these units were each taken out of the box, and you're seeing the way they're adjusted right out of the box. Each one of them are demo units. They've all been used to some degree. So they'll have a, a range of lamp hours, probably from about 40 hours on some all the way up to two or 300 hours on some of the models. So some of the lamps are still burning in, which could account for that as well. That's got to be the second worst. Is that the 3000 right there? Yes. Yeah, the middle. The 6500 has got the best blacks, followed by the Z3000 <laughs> and the AE3000, based on the way they're currently set. 6100 has pretty close to the 3000. We agree. Yep, I might, to, I might have to flip a coin on that one. And again, we all know we could, we could adjust these out and tweak them and all that, but the main thing is... Yeah, it's is kind of not fair, but you see sometimes the factory setting of one right. tends to favor black levels, and then the factory setting of another just might be brighter. I took a cursor glance to see that everything was set at whatever the defaults are for the mode they were in. They're not tweaked to user settings or anything. Yeah, just make sure so, they're on like the normal or whatever right. mid-grade mode is, not the dynamic or something. They're absolutely, every one, awesome by themselves. I'm pretty impressed by that. Same as I've never seen the 3000. That looks right. This is the that. first one that we were actually able to get here. I think I need to do further uh, adjustments at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can probably accommodate that need. And what, these have zoom lenses? Of All of them have massive zoom with the exception of the Optima. The Optima, Optima is essentially featureless beyond the fact that it will produce an image. <laughs> it has a very, very short zoom ratio. These Excuse me. I'll give you an example here. And what's the lamp life? Like? They'll all run. They don't quote lamp lives on the Sanyos, but the typical lamp life runs. Um, you can see the change from this distance, from that maximum. They'll run two to three thousand hours. So that's, that's evidence of a 2x zoom. This is a good way to test your brightness. Allegedly, 
allegedly, this one is 1,800 lumen, and the one on the far left is 1,200 lumen. My guess is they're both very close to the same brightness, but there is few manufacturers on the planet more conservative than Sanio. I mean, for a pro projector, you can buy that 700 for what? After you get your rebate, 1400 bucks? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, but as soon as you blew it up big, though, that's where you see the difference, right? You know, and they're three but, feet wide, and they're all like, yeah. Right. But even here, they're all holding very well. But I don't see one holding any worse or better well, than the other. I'll tell you, the sixty-one is a lot brighter than a sixty-five. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a lens right here it doesn't look at that. Right. Way. But I, 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 I don't disagree. Yeah. But here, you could have a seven hundred lumen projector shooting on that wall, and you'd hardly know the difference. You remember way back when, when I took a seven hundred lumen and put it in SVGA. And I put it next to a 3000 lumen XGA, and we couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, we agree. The biggest issue I have with mine right now is when, when the action's fast, it, it tends to blur a little or something. It's just 120 not hertz easy. frame rate, uh -huh. 120 hertz frame rate, 120 hertz frame rate. So, one of the three so either one of the middle three have addressed that. 120 hertz is what you see on the latest uh, flat panels. So, and we saw the 3000 next to the predecessor, the 2000, with the same in image in a loop, and it was cars driving by with the tags on the front. Mm -hmm. You couldn't read the tags on the 200, and you could easily read the tags on the 3000. I have a feeling. This one right here, this second one. I tell you, I still uh, love that middle one. Uh, you know? I do too. I don't believe any of us would be disappointed with having any one of them. Right. <laughs> However, comma. Yeah. Oh, now see the contrast on that Panasonic looks good. Right. See, mm -hmm. color contrast. The depth. Uh -huh. the depth. Color yeah. contrast <laughs> plays a big part too. Yeah. I think that's something that's not discussed enough. Yeah. The uh, everybody talks about contrast from a black and white standpoint. You know, here's the reality. If you're looking at any of these by itself, yep. they're all... Check this reality out. Look at the difference in the red in her hair. Man, that makes me motion sick. The three in the middle uh -huh. differ drastically from the two on either end, and, and, and this one, one in one respect. 120 hertz refresh rate. So you were focused in the middle there. Mm -hmm. All of us probably were. Yeah, exactly. And so you didn't see any of the blur going on with the other two because there was no Can blur. Can you do it again? There was no blur at what we were looking at. Do you want to zoom in on mm -hmm. You know, it comes down to this. People that buy the Panasonic or the Epson products are looking more for quality. People that buy some of this other are more price driven. But mm -hmm. none of them are getting a bad product. Mm -mm. One twenty hertz. When you're looking at flat panels, people uh -huh. see the the advertisements. People are all excited. Ooh, one hundred and twenty hertz. One hundred and twenty hertz. Well, this is these are the only three projectors in this price class that I'm aware of offering one hundred and twenty hertz frame rate. After our sales folks reviewed the projectors that we have here today, hands down the uh, the ones that won the battle would be the three in the middle, which are the. PLVZ 3000 Sanyo, the Panasonic AE 3000, and the HC 6500 Epson. This is largely due to the color contrast capability of those three projectors, but more so the 120 hertz frame rate, refresh rate, that enables you to have a much clearer image on high action um, type movies. So this will be very evident in sports like football, hockey, things where you have a lot of fast action. But, uh, none of them would, would uh, ever tell you that any of these projectors are bad in their own right. There's not one here that would look bad in a room by itself. Anytime you compare products to each other, you're always going to be able to pick out different things that are better on one and not so good on the other. But each one of these products produce a beautiful image in their own right.